Joe Reynolds is a forensic engineer. This piece appears to be in normal condition with the green paint still showing. Think of him as an aviation detective solving airplane crashes. Uh, scrapes, scratches, dents uh, are all important to understand. Reynolds and his company RTI do exactly what aviation experts in France are doing as they analyze the debris of Flaperon from MH370, the plane missing in the Indian Ocean since March of last year. Flaperons help steer the plane as well as add lift during takeoff and landing. You may have seen the flaperons from a passenger window, moving up and down as the plane takes off and lands. If Reynolds were investigating the MH370 debris, he says the good condition of the flaperon would be evidence of the plane's position upon impact. I think it, it tells us that the uh, angle of entry or impact with the sea was at a very low angle. When the RTI group is hired to investigate a crash, their first task is confirming the part belongs to the plane. This scanning electron microscope analyzes the paint. Each one of those red peaks represents an element on the periodic table. That kind of test could also be used by experts in the MH370 investigation because the plane's paint is a formula unique to the Boeing 777. RTI says the next step for MH370 investigators is to determine the cause of the crash. Sometimes at first glance you can figure out some evidence, like these airplane parts. This one shows the original green paint, and an adjacent part certainly shows damage caused by heat. We want to find out why this happened, what, what caused this excessive heat. So engineers look at the force which detached the part from the airplane. In this case, the rivets were stripped off at an angle. This digital high-resolution microscope travels inside the holes for a closer look. It's painstaking slow work, but the evidence from a lab can solve mysteries. In Stevensville, Maryland, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.